Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about uh, extending the life of your tile blade, wet sub blade or dry sub blade, doesn't matter. So what happens with these blades when you cut ceramic tile or whatever you're using, doesn't matter. Um, you get a buildup on the diamond part. So this is the part, uh, this little 3 8 inch is the part that cuts the tile and um, the, all the rest of it is just metal, so it doesn't cut anything. And what happens is, the more cuts you make, you could see like little, little diamonds everywhere. And that's what cuts your uh, material. So what happens is when you cut, it builds up the material, uh, thin coat of it builds up on top of the uh, blade edge until it covers it completely. Then your blade does not wanna cut or it cuts, it starts bending and uh, kind of, uh, you know, taking, like you're trying to make a uh, straight cut and you'll start flexing in all directions or or you won't get the perfect cut. This is the reason, because you have a buildup on the blade. So what you need is a resin stone or a dressing stone, sorry. Uh, and what this dressing stone does, it's not um, like a brick material, it's like a hard rubber. And what it does is when you put it up against uh, the blade it takes off that layer of buildup and then your blade cuts like new again so let me just show you how I do it <laughs> and that's all it takes and you have a nice sharp blade and uh, uh, this blade has been on this uh, for about five bathrooms, so about a thousand square feet of uh, floor, and maybe not quite a thousand. And uh, it's still, it's still a good blade. It's still got a lot of life in it. Pr I could probably do another five bathrooms with it. So uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.